In today's video, we're gonna talk about the best makeup colors for a clear in the Style by Color color analysis system. Well, hey friends, it's Dawn. Welcome back to another video. If you are brand new to my channel, my name is Dawn. I am an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I'm also certified in color analysis and as an image consultant. So on this channel, I love to kind of weave all of that together. So you're gonna learn about makeup and skincare and also what are the best makeup colors for your coloring. And I like to throw in some style tips from time to time. All right, today's video, I am gonna take you through the best makeup colors for a clear in the style by color color analysis system. So if you've never watched one of my videos, you're probably like, Dawn, what is that? What are you talking about? So uh, about two years ago, I got certified in color analysis and I trained under Sherry Brendel. She is the founder and owner of Style by Color. And there are many, many different color analysis systems out there. I love Sherry's because I feel like it is the easiest system that I have ever learned about. I ever, you know, got color analysis done myself. And I think it's really, really easy to, um, to do the color analysis. I think it's easy once you get your color analysis done. I think, you know, it just makes so much sense. There's a lot of different systems out there. I know there's the seasonal color analysis and, you know, among other ones. And I know before I found Style by Color, I was trying to determine what the best colors were for me. And the more I kind of delved into it, I felt like I was kind of going down a rabbit hole. The more I researched and the more I was trying to figure out what my best colors were, the more confused I got. And when I discovered Sherry's system, when I met Sherry and discovered the Style by Color um, system, I was shocked at how easy it was, and I was like, this is what I have been looking for. So um, if you have not yet taken the free color quiz, all you have to do is click on the link below, and you can also go to my website. There is a color analysis quiz. It is super easy. It's going to be based on your hair color, your skin tone, and your eye color. That's it. And we're going to be looking at your most dominant features. And then once you figure out what your dominant color code is I have a free makeup guide for you so what I have done is I have a free makeup guide for all six of the color analysis um, color codes so um, I do have a video where I kind of went over those in um, briefly and I'm gonna go ahead and link that below if you want to check that out as well I also did a more in-depth color workshop that is recorded it was on zoom and I will link that down below so you can kind of spend as much or as little time as you want kind of delving into this color analysis system but what I have done is again I've created a free makeup guide and there is one makeup guide per color code so we have six color codes we have clear soft deep light warm and cool and again that is based on your dominant color um, you know, like your dominant color characteristic. And um, so today I'm gonna start a series where I'm gonna do a makeup, um, I'm gonna basically talk about the makeup guide for all six of the color codes. And I'm gonna give you a recommendation of the best shades with Mary Kay products because that's what I sell, that's what I use. And so um, all you have to do is you can watch the video, you can take notes, or you can just, you know, click on the link and grab your free makeup guide. And so if you are watching this and you are a Mary Kay consultant and you wanna grab a free makeup guide to be able to know the best colors to recommend for your clients, go ahead and grab that. It doesn't have to be your color code. If you know somebody, or again, if you're a Mary Kay consultant and you wanna be able to suggest the right colors for them, go ahead and click on the link and grab yours. And before I get into the makeup tips and the makeup recommendations for the clear, let me remind you what that is. So in our color analysis system, a clear is going to be someone that has medium to dark brown or black hair, and they're going to have a light to medium skin tone, more on the fair side, and then the eyes are typically a light color and usually they are very bright. So what happens with that is it creates a very high level of contrast. And I have that contrast. So I am a clear, I have a darker brown hair, 
I have, you know, lighter skin, my skin's like a light to medium, and then I have the bright blue eyes. So that is what you're gonna see with a clear, is you're gonna see a high level of contrast. Now, you can be a clear if you have very fair skin and dark hair and you have really dark brown eyes, you can also, so they don't necessarily have to be light, but we definitely wanna make sure we see a very high level of contrast. So if you're not sure, you can go ahead and take the free color quiz and then you'll know if you're clear or not. But let me start sharing with you some of these tips that I have for you. So if you are clear, or again, if you know a clear or you wanna be able to suggest clear colors for your clients, um, the first thing to note is you want to stick to cool toned makeup. So the style by color color analysis system is not based on your skin undertone. This is, this is different than the seasonal color analysis that you're probably used to. It is not based on skin undertone, but you still wanna stick to more cool base makeup. They're just going to be more flattering if you are a clear. The second tip for a clear is to wear a brighter shade of lipstick or a high shine lip gloss. So you can see I actually have on a brighter lipstick, it's like a berry color, and then I have on a high shine gloss over top of that. So that's always a great option is to layer that gloss over top of your lipstick. But what we wanna do is we wanna match intensity. So like I said a few moments ago, a clear is most likely to have a bright colored eye. So we might have bright blue, bright green, or even a very, very dark brown. And so we have that high intensity and that um, high contrast, like I said. So we have you know, a high intensity with the eye being so bright, we wanna match that intensity with the lip. So look for those bright colors or that high shine gloss. And I'm gonna give you some recommendations in just a moment. Next, we're gonna talk about the cheeks and I will give some color recommendations, but just as an overview, your cheeks, you wanna keep them a little bit soft. So we've got the, um, you know, we've got that color intensity with the eyes and the lips. So we're gonna keep the cheeks nice and soft. We kind of go for a soft rose, a soft plum, and um, that's just gonna kind of keep the face balanced out. Now on your eyes, you wanna stick to either neutrals or you can do some pops of colors, but you wanna make sure that no matter what eye colors you're wearing, you don't go too warm or too brown. For specific color recommendations, let's start with the brows. So with the, with the hair color for a clear, again, you're gonna be medium to dark brown or even a black. So for the brow products, the Precision Brow Liner, you're either gonna go with the brunette, the dark brunette, or the black brown. For the volumizing brow tint, you're either gonna select the brunette or the dark brunette. So that's your brows right off the bat. Now let's start talking about your eyes. And before I get into eyeshadow colors, I'll talk really briefly about eyeliner and mascara. So for mascara, I would always recommend choosing a black, which most of Mary Kay's mascaras are black. We do have one black brown, but I would go ahead and just go with a black for your mascara. And for your eyeliner, I would suggest either the Mary Kay Deep Brown or the Mary Kay Black Eyeliner Pencil. And the gel eyeliner comes in jet black, and then the waterproof eyeliner pen comes in that intense black. So either of those are a great option as well. Now, another option for eyeliner would be a dark charcoal or a deep plum or a navy. Now, Mary Kay, we don't have those colors, but here's a really great way that you can do that. You can use your eyeshadows. So all you have to do is take an eyeliner brush, spray it with a little bit of um, the setting spray, spray the brush with a little bit of setting spray, dip it into the eyeshadow and you have an instant eyeliner. It's super easy. So I would recommend if you're going to do that, you want a navy eyeliner, I would recommend the evening navy. If you want a charcoal eyeliner, the espresso is a great option. And for a plum, Merlot is a great option. Just make sure that you're choosing a matte eyeshadow if you're doing a liner with it. But again, that's just a really great tip. You can just do it right on the eye, use that setting spray. You can also layer it over top of an eyeliner if you want to make it a little bit more intense. But I love using eyeshadow as eyeliner and I actually do it pretty often. Now the eyeshadow recommendations, I'm actually gonna give them to you based on your eye color. So I am gonna refer to my notes. I'm gonna look down because I wanna make sure that I'm giving you the right recommendations. So if you are clear and you have blue eyes, the best colors are gonna be browns, peaches, 
roses or soft purples. If you have um, green or hazel eyes, you're going to want to choose browns, taupes, medium shades of plums and violets. And then if your eyes are black or brown or gray, kind of that neutral color, um, these are really great options for you. So rose tones, purples, peaches, soft grays, and silvers. And as I said earlier, all of the eye colors can wear neutrals, but just make sure that you're not going too warm with your shade. So if you're picking a brown, pick more of a cool tone brown versus a warm tone brown. So let me give you some specific shades as it relates to Mary Kay. So here are my favorite shades of eyeshadow for a clear. So with the matte eyeshadows, it would be Blossom or Biscotti or really great highlight colors. For mid-tones, Cashmere Haze, Soft Heather, Dusty Rose, and Hazelnut. I actually have on Dusty Rose right now. I use that in my crease um, area. Now for the shimmer, these are the shades I recommend. So for a highlight, Moonstone or Candlelight. Um, for your mid-tone, Rose Gold or Granite and Sunlit Rose. I actually have on Sunlit Rose kind of, um, I actually used it sort of like on the outside edge here, and then I have Rose Gold on my eyelid. Um, but Frozen Iris and Sweet Plum are really great for those accent colors. So those purples are just gorgeous because we've got those cool tones. So those are my recommendations for the eyeshadow. Obviously you can add something a little bit more if you want to, just staying within those color families that I talked about. So Mary Kay has lots of different eyeshadow options. So I'm not saying these are the only colors you can wear. I'm just saying these are my top recommendation. Now that we've done our eyes, let's talk about our cheeks. At the beginning, when I was kind of going over the tips, I was talking about keeping the cheeks a little bit of like a softer intensity. Um, so we love to do like a soft rose on the cheeks with our clears. So my recommendations for cheek colors for clear are going to be Darling Pink, Hint of Pink, Rogue Rose, and Rosy Nude. So I actually have the Rosy Nude here and the Rogue Rose here. The Rosy Nude is what I have on. That is actually my favorite shade and that is the number one shade I recommend for a clear. I just think it's so gorgeous. So this is a matte shade. If you do want more of a shimmer, the Rogue Rose I think is a great option. So those are my top picks for the cheek color when it comes to clear. Now let's talk about lips. There's lots of different lipsticks that we can do for a clear, but what we wanna do for the lips is we wanna stay in that cool family. So berries are great, burgundy, reds. Again, you wanna choose a cool uh, blue-based red for the reds. Um, also, those um, hot pinks are gonna be great and the fuchsias, things like that, and then also those high shine glosses. So let me show you some of my favorites. My two favorite glosses are gonna be the Iconic Red, right here, and the Pink Fusion. These are my two favorite that I wear all the time. The other two really great options are Evening Berry and Berry Delight. And um, again, you can always go with a more of a nude color if you want because it is gonna be a high shine gloss. My personal favorite of the nude is the nude blush because it just has that undertone of pink. So it's a, it's a nude, but it's gonna be a little bit cool. So those are my recommendations for lip gloss. Let me give you some of my recommendations for lipstick. For the Supreme Hydrating Lipsticks, those are our newer ones. They came out last year. That Fuchsia Dream is gorgeous, and I love that shade for a clear. Um, also, the Casual Rose is good, and really any of the pinks. I think you can get away with pink, but I love Fuchsia Dream is probably my top pick for those lipsticks. If you were gonna pick one, that's the one I would probably pick. For the semi-matte lipsticks, here are my favorites. I like the Crush Berry and the Berry Famous. I actually have the Crush Berry on. I also like the Powerful Pink, so that's kind of a hot pink color, and that's in my personal collection as well. Um, for, for the semi-shine, I like Red Smolder and Scarlet Red. You guys know I love Scarlet Red. That's actually one of my favorites. 
um, the hot pink, which is also like a hot pink. It's spelled H-A-U-T-E, so hot pink, I think is how you pronounce it. And then appleberry is a great option as well. And if you are looking for a nude or kind of a neutral, rosewood is my suggestion for you. So that is it for the lipsticks. Now for lip liner recommendation, obviously you just wanna match your lipstick color. So the rose is a good option, the berry is a good option. I have berry lip liner on. Um, you can also match your lip color, so maybe like a soft or a medium nude if, um, you know, whatever one matches your lips. So those are great options. But again, I do have on the Crush Berry, and then I actually put that Pink Fusion lip gloss over top of it because I really wanted that high shine gloss. And of course, when you're choosing your makeup, you wanna make sure that your foundation, your concealer, all of that matches your skin tone. So that kind of goes without saying, but just wanted to make sure I threw that in there. So obviously I wouldn't have specific color recommendations because that's gonna match your skin tone. But that is it for the colors for a clear. I'm gonna do a series, so I am gonna go over all six color codes over the next six weeks. And I wanna thank you for recommending this video. It's actually been on my list for a while, but recently I had somebody request this. So um, I decided this was a great time to do it. And I'd love to know below if you are a clear in the color system. So if you're clear, let me know, or you can just tell me what your color code is. But I will be back next week, and I'm gonna go ahead and go over soft, which is the opposite of clear in this color system. So we've got clear, which has the high contrast, and soft has a low contrast. So I'll be back next week to go over soft's best color recommendation. So in the meantime, I want you to make sure that you take that online color quiz so you'll know which makeup colors that you should be looking for. Don't forget to claim your free makeup guide, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, friends. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Be sure to check out these other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.